Okay guys, so I bought the MAC foundation and I'm just going to try it out today for the first time. I did my eyebrows and that's all. So let's, we'll see how it goes. Um, okay. So I know the shade is like way too dark for me. Hold on, Sophie, please go. Please go. So, go. I know the shade is way too dark for me, but it's okay. I always do that anyway because I want to look tanner. And spring break is coming up, so I'm going to be tan anyway. Okay. So, what the heck? Okay, I don't like how it comes out because it's like a little tiny opening. This is what it looks like. Okay. So, immediately... It reminds me of Maybelline Fit Me. The consistency of it, because it's not really thick, but it covers good. Um, whoa. Uh, I'm liking it so far. It's not like a weird texture. That's why I'm like, I was worried. It reminds me exactly of Maybelline Fit Me. This one's just more full coverage, and I think. I think it blends easier too. This is so dark for me. It blends really, really easily. So, Sophie. So what I plan on doing is wearing this to work to see how it looks after a while I'm a waitress some of me moving around a lot and I don't know so I'll come back and like see how it looks it's gonna be annoying though uh, because it's gonna be like dark out when I get home so the lighting's gonna be way different but and then I'm gonna use my Maybelline fit me foundation or <laughs> Maybelline fit me concealer um let me know like message me or something because no one comments but usually people like snapchat me message me and um ask me if you want me to like try a new concealer um I have the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't really like it, but I might try the NARS. I don't know if people like wanna have a first reaction on it, but okay. I really like this. Okay, so that's how it looks. Oh lord. Hold on, this is like kind of bright. There. No, it's not as bright. Um. I don't know, I really like it so far. And it's not even that expensive. Like, when you think of MAC, it's pretty expensive, you know? This was $29, and it's like a good size. I mean, it's... It reminds me of Fit Me so much, but... I think it it goes on like way more evenly, cause fit me sometimes, maybe like fit me sometimes it it's like splotchy, especially like around here. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. It went on really good, so let's see, just see how it wears. Okay, so this is how it looks with the rest of my makeup on. I would say it's full coverage and it has a matte finish. But I'm really liking it so far, so I'm going to go to work now, and I'll catch back with you guys afterwards. Okay, so I've been wearing the foundation for eight hours, and it stayed on really, really good. Um, I was saying how it reminded me of Maybelline Fit Me, and Maybelline Fit Me, it doesn't wear really well. Like, at the end of the day, I'm like, if I touch my face, there's going to be like a white mark. Like, Maybelline, it doesn't last that long. This one lasted really good, 
and I don't even have smile lines because like with Maybelline Fit Me and like especially like I don't know which ones but like some other foundations legit like I'll crack a smile or I'll smirk at something I'll be like boom smile lines you know <sighs> that's a problem so yeah this one worked really well um I would give this a double thumbs up man like I would give this five out of five actually and I'm really picky about foundation. It was only $29, and I think it's definitely worth the money. So, yeah, there's my review. Absolutely love it. And leave a comment down below if you want me to buy any products that you want reviewed because you're curious about them, because I actually really like doing that stuff. So comment below or message me and tell me what products. I hope you guys like this. Like and subscribe if you want. Thank you for watching.